Hey, what's up? How's it going? It's going good. How are you? Good, good. Oh my goodness, this whole Instagram thing with the lives, it's like, it's weird. I don't know. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> you know, um, same shit, different day. So it's true. Boring. So true. You know, I thought that you were going to have your bun in your hair so we could be bun twins and I was going to call us bun twins. Girl, I will, I will do that next time. You tell me next time and I will do that. <laughs> I thought, I know she's going to wear a bun, so I'm going to wear a bun but, too. We can be bunsies. <laughs> to be honest, my hair, I have, I really, you know, I, I, I'm going to go for it and just dye it again myself. I was yeah. taking the break. Because the last time I had my hair like highlighted was, I guess, December. My daughter mm -hmm. do it, so this time I'm going to be doing it myself. Because I was in Virginia with my daughter. Yeah, it helped me. So this time I'm going. Hey, how are you? I'm going to do it myself because I just can't handle it anymore. It's getting so dark. But it, yeah. I mean, my my youngest daughter has got dark brown hair, so it's you know. Yeah. It's whatever. Yeah. But I've yeah. always been I dye like, I dye my own hair. Yeah. And I've always I've always done my own, but um but I my the beauty that. supply store is not open right now. <laughs> and I'm oh, like oh, I, I can't find my product like anywhere. I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I was able to score hair dye was because I had to go pick up a prescription at the drugstore, which was really scary. Because I had on, I mean, you should see me. It's like out of a sci-fi movie. I've got on. You're the hazmat. You have your hazmat suit yeah. on. <laughs> as soon as this stuff hit China, my husband was very smart. Yeah. And a friend who works in doing um, insulation, he's like, yo, we need some really good masks. You got any? Because I just have a feeling. <laughs> so we got some for him. Oh, hey, hey, real quick. While we're chit-chatting, everybody in the room, um, we are going to be reading the room tonight. So. If you have a piece while we're here chit-chatting, send it over to um, to my DM or to Amanda's DM, and um, we will be able to read you guys because we would love to share your words. So, uh, yeah. So, definitely. I yeah. actually... I can go back. <laughs> I actually have, like, two pieces I can read soon whenever you want to start. But, um... What is that? Do I have... Oh, okay. That was you. I'm like no, that's her. I know. I, I was all because <laughs> I, I was asking because I didn't know if you guys had pieces left over um, from last week or anything. I was, <laughs> but I honestly did not have the list. Z mm -hmm. and Andy had the list, so okay. they want to. If, if Andy's on watching, so if he wants to shoot them our way, we can totally um, do that. I have no problem. Yeah. Um, I and I had no idea who each other were last time. So, and of course, me, I'm brrr, I'm a liberty jitter. I talk a lot. <laughs> yeah, okay. Your poetry. That's what we're here for. That's right. We are here for you guys' poetry. I know, just because we were having so much issues, I quickly like recorded a little message and I put it on my page. But I did. You and Andy were live. I went on live and I was like, dude, this is the deal. We're doing. Yeah doing that I'm doing this I'm doing that but right yeah. now live come on right exactly it's so, so funny I, story, I posted your story I posted Jan them down stories it's just I really think that um, there's so many people on IG right now that they're overloaded with information that shit's yeah. going glitchy and well even during the day you know with schooling with my kids I mean because everything's online and so I have my my oldest son he's on his computer on his Wi-Fi for his college classes my daughter 17 year old she's in there for her high school classes and then I'm in the kitchen with my nine-year-old doing yeah. his, his classes online and it's just like everybody everybody's online I mean it, it is like it's just crazy we're it's scary that before quarantine, we actually were all talking about how online everything is and how technologically, like, we are so um, connected to it anyway. But now, more than ever, it's like you can't, there's there's nothing else. Yeah. This is the only way to socialize safely. I know. I know. It's like, my, 
<laughs> my nine-year-old loves it because he's just he got on he got on a video game with his buddy with his little friend um, my girlfriend's little guy who's in San Francisco and he's all hey man how's quarantine going for you and he's just like oh it's all right he's like well I love it he goes my mom's my teacher and I get to play video games all the time without them telling Damn me right. no. <laughs> my four-year-old who's going to be five next week which is scary his poor little birthday party is going to be, you know, we have this glow up jumpy backyard. Put yeah. some booms out that I already have that I can blow up myself. Yeah. Underneath the gazebo, and there you go. There you, you go. Got a birthday party. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna make a cake. Yeah. I'm gonna have my daughter make it because mm -hmm. I can't. I'm I'm a good cook. I'm not a great baker. I will burn it. Yeah, I don't bake very well, but I love cooking. I love for like frisbees for me. I could kill someone. <laughs> Terrible at baking. Yeah, I do have a piece. Someone actually sent me something, so I'm going to oh. look, look. Yes, I do. Okay. I have one from Anna. <laughs> oh my God, I love her. Yes, she sent one. And I'm just going to make sure that the one in the picture is the one in the comments, which it is. So I get to read it. All right. This is locked inside underscore my mind, and this is Anna. So, and it is called Lost. I wandered through the storm called life. I was trying to reach the sun's warmth. I weathered the thunder and lightning. I weathered the rain, yet somehow lost my way. I lost myself in the day to day, losing a piece here and there along the way. I lost a piece when I became a wife. I lost a piece when I lost my first baby. I lost a piece when I became a mother. I lost a piece when I became a teacher. I lost a piece when baby number three. I lost a piece when I lost each of you. Have you seen any of my pieces? I've been looking, I've been sleepless, and at times I've been speechless. Fearless is what I should be. I survived the treacherous storm. The gate force winds, the gale force winds, the torrential rain, the continual lightning strikes, the harsh cry of thunder. While I try to find myself, I must remember what I survived. The pieces of me were never lost. They were with me all along, growing and changing as time went on molding me into the person that I am now. I was never lost in the storm. I didn't see myself transform. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. That was beautiful, Anna. That was amazing. Every piece she writes boggles me. Yeah. Just like your work. Your work, <laughs> too. It's so funny. One of the last pieces you wrote, I left you a copy. Like, girlfriend, just so you know, I had to like, get this a thoris and look this word up because I didn't. <laughs> I thought I was up on my, like, you know. <laughs> I know, I know. I was like, what I, know. Is <laughs> I know. I think I'd probably become known to be like, they're like, oh, God. She no. wrote one and sent it to me. I don't want to read it. <laughs> no, you're teaching me. I'm learning words, and this is beautiful. Are you kidding? <laughs> But I was talking to Andy earlier. Like I have freaking learned from everybody here in this community. Absolutely, like, I, I, I do think we push our ch each other very, very well. Yeah, writing short stories and writing music and all that—completely different animal. When you have to like try and work your brain around a poetic, it's, yeah. it's like the poetic way of thinking, and it's it's deep, and it's you have to like go there and it's hard sometimes but you know it's it's a learning process it's yeah learning. yeah you no know, it took me a while to learn yeah well I like I just with Anna's piece I can just relate to so much of that you know I mean I wrote a piece like way way back in the day of just like you know just trying to figure out who I am and and it was because you just feel like pieces of you are just taken and pulled it's, you know it's you know you really embrace you know the roles of as wife, mother and you know, here she was also career and all these different uh, faces that you have to be. And then at the same time, you also have your, you know, your troubles and your hardships that you have to endure. And yet, 
we, you know, we still have to be like all the other things we have to be. And uh, yeah, we are the and the caretakers and the givers and the doctors and the nurses and the psychiatrists and the yeah. everything. And I know a lot of men are too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to yeah. do that. Oh, they have all their roles as well, you know. Because my husband, when I met him, he was taking care of his two children, and they were tiny. Yeah. Were two and, and th well, actually, no, they were three and five when I met my husband. Yeah. So, um, there are just some men that are very maternal. Yeah. Like that thing, and then there are some women who are just, you know, they they have babies and they're they're not maternal, and that's really sad. Yeah, so, thing because I cannot imagine you're a mother. You know this. I mean, you can't imagine a day without you know your babies. Your babies. Oh, I know. It's so hard. It's so well, I have a piece. Okay, great. By one of my favorite writers. Her name is Sinead, and honestly, I'm not even going to pronounce her last name because I will do it wrong. So I'm not going to pronounce it. I'm going to spell it. <laughs> okay. A D underscore M C G U I G A N one two three. I don't know how to pronounce your name, girlfriend. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to, <laughs> you're gonna have to send me it in like yeah, like send me a message because I don't know. Anyway, she's amazing. I love her, and this is one of her pieces. <sighs> At the break of day, skies fill with orange hues. Green trees stand tall and still, cradling birds with broken wings, chirping in their protective hold. As the sun rises with burning light, creating a gallery of wonder in our eyes, we breathe in our solemn truth. Wispy clouds stop to adorn naked eyes of the soul. The fragility of life, imprisoned by conscious thought, awakens. Gazing at the aurora, we breathe in our new existence, lifting the veil on humanity's strife. She's awesome. Yes, very much so. And, and you what, know, what, what was the handle again? What was the handle? So light to dark, and in, in like, she's so good. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see here. Which do you do you have anything new? I do. Cool. I do. I do. I have one from Joe, which is great because I just read Anna and now I get to read Joe. <laughs> so very, very cool. All right. This is the Joe Steele 401. Oh, the 401. Is that new? I like it. I like it. All righty. Counterclockwise, I fade. My light is lost, captured, unable to escape. We all have the same fate. A black hole carries our weight. An empty void, none of us were ever great. There was a time when hope was yours and mine and existence, buried in the depths of our minds and in our DNA, it still resides. I dig deep, wondering what I will find. And within this search, I seek the rolling hills and calm blue seas, but everything I see rests in peace. Maybe there's a purpose to the stars. Maybe there's a reason I wonder who we really are. Maybe it's why I look to the sky and ask, was life ever really ours? Imagery fills my restless imagination while all around me I'm stuck, stuck in this world of automation an ancient landscape with images of a man's face used to say we didn't expand space why are we so quick to stake our claims to places we can see but cannot tame? why do we choose to fan the flames when instead we should be breaking these chains it's been thousands of years and still the question remains when mars was ours was it natural selection a mass extinction caused by arrogant intelligence and planetary negligence. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I was good. I was good. Dang. That was amazing, Joe. Of course, of course, of course. So 
so good. So Ooh. good. Always good. That was. That was like a total like. I. My mm-hmm. mic drop wasn't as powerful as I was hoping it would be with mine. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, it was just a little tongue click. It wasn't as impactful as I wanted it. I touched it, which is why I'm actually not even at her area because I'm not messing with any of that stuff. <laughs> I'm chicken. You're chicken. I am. I am a chicken when it comes to a lot of this equipment because I don't know how to use any of it. Like, I watch her do it like it's nothing, and I'm like, hey. <laughs> I am like reading through the room right now to see if there is anyone who um, has sent something that they want through the comments because for some reason, and I guess it's IG, that's not letting me go into my messages. Oh no. I literally, I'm going on my messages and it's <laughs> usually have like, and nothing. There's nothing there. Well, see, I I was, you know, because my live last week was so, oh my gosh, with Amy. I felt so bad with Amy because of the echo, and I didn't know. Oh, I didn't know I should tell her to put her earbuds in. And when I'm in my bedroom, I'm so far from the modem. And so I came out here, and so I have this, like, weird, I'm in the garage. So I feel like I'm Joe. I feel like I'm Joe or Brian today because I have my <laughs> Like back That's my background. background. <laughs> I lose it. Um, I do have a piece. Okay. I haven't read it, you know. I always say, yeah, I'm not too bad at these cold reads, but sometimes if it's what <laughs> created, I will screw it up. So I'm you're re- you're re- if I do. I am going to read a very cool chick. Her name is um, on here. It's Mikey Hendricks. She's super cool. Her name's Michelle. Um, she is a really badass chick, and um, she writes stuff that is very deep. Like you got to look really between the lines with her, and I love it. Mm-hmm. I love that kind of stuff because it's easy yeah. to do that. Yeah. That's why I like your pieces, and I like <laughs> Anna's and I like Michelle's pieces and um, a lot of people that write like that Sinead and all of them you guys write so deep and you go there and I'm like whoa you know (laughs) I'm learning Mike Mike Dennis he is the Sonic King holy crap I love Mm -hmm. him he's amazing Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do pieces too but first I'm gonna read Michelle and on here it's Mikey M-I-K-K-I Hendrix, H-E-N-D-R-I-X. And like I said, I have not read this yet, so excuse me, love it. Oh, good. You despise slavery, mechanics of history, foreign to the state of now. How could they stay bowed? Clothed in borrowed hatred, excuse crimes as rebellion. Watch and wonder. Ebony proud, but milk and honey lover. Ballads left unwanted and unused. Child of violence, birthing only violence. Who is free? Chosen ignorance adorns your neck. Shackles sparkle like a toothy smile. Long sword and rifle drag behind. As fences recently led the bull into its cozy pen. Who is free? Not you. Wow. Dang. There's a lot of lines in there. That yeah. Stuff. So many good ones. Who, in particular, would appreciate something like this. And, um, like me, I read it live, of course. I was trying not to screw it up, so I'm going to have to reread it now. Yeah. <laughs> so that I, I know. I find some of that, too. Like, there are times, you know, I'll be doing, like, the reading the room or whatever, and then I'll, I'll get a piece, and... And like in that moment, I just feel like it just hits me. And I'm just like, oh my God, if I was by myself, like if I had the time, I would totally go through and I would read that again, like right now. (laughs) Child of violence, birthing only violence. Yeah. Freaking awesome line right there. Child of violence, birthing only violence. I dig that. Who is free, chosen ignorance adorns your neck. I dig that. Shackles sparkle like a toothy smile. Yeah, that was I like. Yeah, Mikey Hendrix. If you're not following your guys, you should. She's amazing. M I K K I H E N D R I X. She is the real deal. 
That's awesome. That's like great. Rob and Anna. I have, I have Freedom Writer Rain, and I get to read her on my Love Letters Live too. So I get to read her twice. So yay me, because she has amazing, amazing stuff. Yeah, girl, go. All right, this is called The Essence of Why I Write. I write not to tickle your fancy, but to ignite your souls into a burning fire of love. Poetry for me is not fantasy, but a blank page of reality on which I can cast my shadows. I write to awaken your senses, to enlighten you to what's really going on. I write to make you crave a stranger's namaste and know what it really means. I write so that those who are third-eyed blind can have vision to conquer and have conversation with the demons eternal. I write to lift those bogged down and drowned in ignorance into the light of freedom. I write for those in sorrow so they can use their candles dripping with anguish to heal. I write to bleed through paper so I don't cut myself. So good. So good, Rain. Dang. So good. Always powerful. Powerful little punch at the end. Exactly. We write. We write to put our our pain, our passion, all of it to pen into paper. And Who is uh, again? Well, we are poets. Uh, freedom writer rain. Freedom writer rain. Yeah. Freedom writer underscore rain. Okay. Cool. Katie's in the room. I could read one of her. Hi, Katie. I'm afraid. To be completely honest. <laughs> You're afraid to read Katie? I'm afraid to read you, Katie. <laughs> she has some hard hitting stuff, man. She's got good stuff. She really but, does. Yeah, but welcome to everybody who's in the room. I saw a couple people just pop in, so welcome, welcome. I mean, I could try to read one of Katie's pieces. <laughs> do it. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. The last one she wrote... <laughs> He's all, I just popped in the room. Really? I'm like, yep. The last one she yeah. wrote is... Um, so, like... Uh, it really, like, hits you. Mm -hmm. And it's... It's 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 a, it's a... It's a read, man. It's a read. All right, I'm going to try it. I'm trying you, Katie. All right, babe? Here we go. Shadow of Ash. I have cast myself upon the shadows, reached my hands into the sands of time and pulled the dead. I have gathered the dust of all of the fallen rainbows, dug myself deep into the earth to lay the skin I've shed. I have carved my heart from stones untouched, untied the avalanche of tears from bleeding ropes. I have ripped the desert open wide, drained all the oceans in search of hope. I hear it calling. I hear it calling. Switch page. Hold on. I am waiting. I am waiting. I am the essence of something new that resides within, needing only an ethereal catalyst to begin. Combustion, reaction. Ashes fall away, catching fire in the air around me. I am a bloom no longer. I am becoming something new. I am becoming something. I am becoming. I am. I have carved light out of the shadows, reached my hands into the fires of hell, and pulled out myself. I have gathered all of our former broken pieces like a puzzle I have formed from things once shelved. I have caught the gusts from the tornadoes, grasped the lava from volcanoes, until my hands are burning. God, I have created solar flares in the sky, manifested thunderstorms raining down as I bled. I hear me calling. I hear me calling. And the echo speaks of words I know I meant to say. And a cosmic supernova bursts forth across the Milky Way. And as the stars rain down, I actualize within the flames, smoldering bones. I shake the ash. I am not the same. I am not dead. I will live again. I am not a ghost. I am both then and when. I am occurring. I am arising. I am a boom. I am the rush of hydrogen 
that erases everything that came before. I am the exotherism, the exotherism reaction that lays waste to all that has known. I am not dead. I am a blossom that is becoming a beautiful billowing cloud of possibilities, smiling over the wasteland of my soul, relishing the challenge ahead. I roll up my sleeves, ready to fight off the dead. I have faced the skeletons in my closet and emerged victorious by simply turning on a light. I have much to overcome and so much more to learn, but ashes of the past are easy to burn. When the fires of hell are all your best friend, I am not dead, I am alive. I feel in the passion of others and embrace it in all its flawed glory. I am the moment I realize I am more. I am the instant I know my purpose. I have all I need to grow, to be free. I have become that which was, I'm sorry. I have become that which I was meant to be. I am the ending of nothing. I am the beginning of everything. I want to cry. And I, I, I want to I want to be in a place where I am like comfortable writing that about myself. <laughs> I mean, that is like so powerful. It was absolutely incredible. It was so good. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I know. Uh, like, what did I just read? I have formed from things once shelved. Mm, I like that. I like that line. Yeah. yeah. She makes me very emotional. She's a, extremely um, um She's a very deep, beautiful writer, and it's beautifully broken a lot. And I dig that um, a beautiful. I think she said that, that was um, the collab with um, Brett, right? B. Allen. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I think was that, and that was Brett Ballen. first collab. Brian Ballenhart, ba ba yeah. Not Brian, but Brett. It, it was his first, his first Brian. collab. Is that right? Yep. The that Ellen Hart, Brett. Yeah. Sorry, Brett. I didn't mention you. I apologize. It was in the corner. <laughs> um. Yeah. That was crazy good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Kay. And it was his first. That is so crazy that that was his first collaboration. That's awesome. Very very. Yeah. Deep and very I. Cool. I will. <laughs> like that. Cause I was in it when she, when I was reading it, I was there. Yeah. That's when I know I'm reading something so good, mm -hmm. I'm freaking there. And mm -hmm. I, good job, Katie. You're the best. You're amazing. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows Katie, so I don't have yeah. to. It's ink, I and K, T, swords. Yep. Ink. <laughs> Boards, swords, woods, swords, words, <laughs> in ps words. No words. Anyway, um, well, I have one from Tara. Go. Mm hmm. She's been pumping them out lately, man. They've been amazing. All right, this is Tara Nicole Wright, and this is called Tyndall Effect. I'm stranded here with a campfire chest, needing desperately to be extinguished, molested by his pupils, but consenting to Iris, contemplating between summer skies and swimming pools, denying there are underlying living rules. Always have I struggled with ethics, with morals. Please resuscitate me with your youthful tongue over coffee and cream, love, just a taste. Won't you give me some? Want to be visions and lucid dreams submerged in his sapphire tears and sexual saline. His cry, my eye, seem to scream a need for me to dive deep, begging I do, offering open invitation to the blue, to all these things one might consider taboo. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I like that one. That was super fun. Thank you for sending that, Tara. That was that was a lot of fun to read. I like that. Good. <laughs> Love it. I have a couple people welcome, but um, I didn't know it 
wanted me to read one of yours. You want me to, or should I just pass? Go on? for it. Sure. <laughs> Go for I'm it. Scared to ask. <laughs> but I love your stuff, so thank oh, you. Okay. And you're staring at me while I'm reading it. Oh, gee. <laughs> that's that's so. Woo, I'm under the pressure. <laughs> nah, no, no pressure. No, not at all. Because this is the one of your most recent, and I really freaking dug it. I no longer wish to be burdened by the chains that hold me in captivity, so I scream and yell at the slithering and the snarling clamor of Kathof. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Cacophony. Making Cacoph me the cacophony. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> See, Sorry. I can't do this to your freaking piece. Cacophony. You're, I don't you're good. By the change that hold me in captivity. So I scream and yell at the slithering and snarling clamor of cacophony. Making a ruse of commotion. Their discord now in clear confusion. As the element of my disruption stirs. The voices perturbation as I demand quiet and candor I call to arms the soldiers of Concord ordering them to combat in hopes of our triumph ending in calming cues of tranquility Wowzers that was so good <laughs> I skip over your shit okay <laughs> <laughs> And this is the long version, because that was just a snippet. Yeah, yeah. Woo! All right, so here goes. <laughs> I fall to my knees, cradling my cranial cavity in hopes of silencing the loud cackles and calls that fracture all cognitive thought. Deceived by their creative conjecture of phallus fa faction and futility of complicated contrived chatter. My crackerjack condition unable to contain its sanity as it battles the cruelty that escapes the deep crevices of my psyche. I wish to rise above, yet the energy required to expel such clawing and gnawing that resides on the battlefield within my soul seems as though my demise is imminent. The poltergeist of deception growing in strength within the violent walls of Gehenna. Whew. The white flag placed in my palm, my grasp strong, as it osculates in contrast with its eager rapacity to be waved, calling me to succumb. Rise up, I demand. Rise up, I declare. Flashes of family filled with laughter and love, fueling my fervor to fight against the fallacy. The finagled its way into misguided truth. I no longer wish to be burdened by the chains that hold me in captivity. So I scream and yell at the slithering and snarling clamor of cacophony, making a ruse of commotion. Their discord now in clear confusion as the element of my disruption stirs the voices per per perturb I'm sorry, perturbation as I demand quiet and candor. I call to arms the soldier of Concord, ordering them to combat in hopes of our triumph ending in calming cues of tranquility. For today is a new day and my Crania refuses for the cracks to continue, to be filled with subterfuge. Victory is mine this day. Wow. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There you go. That's uh, all the little nooks and crannies of my brain on a daily. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta get a thesaurus out while I'm reading her stuff. <laughs> yeah, th this is why I, I can't sleep. This is where my insomnia comes in because it just goes. Oh, girl, sister, I feel you. <laughs> I have issues sleeping. Of course, I'm not saying cacophony in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I will be tonight, though. I know. <laughs> word you're gonna be laying there you're gonna be like damn it robin i can't get that word out of my head all i can think of is cacophony like i'm gonna wake up screaming cacophony <laughs> yeah. am 
Brad's going to be like, what the fuck did you just say? I'd <laughs> be like, I don't know. You don't know what it means. I just love the word. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, was, my gosh. That was really funny. I'm going to have to reread it, of course, because I've already read it twice. <laughs> this time, and I was like, wait. Uh, I knew I was going to screw up on that word. <laughs> All right, I have a piece. I have a piece here from. Oh no! Wait, hold on. It was from KCL underscore words, but okay. I just followed you, so accept my request so that I can read your piece because <laughs> I know that they're in here. All right. Okay, so I will do that, and I will get her piece, and then I also have. Let's see. I'm gonna send you one, and as it's coming your way. I am going to um, read another one that I received. Hopefully, it comes through on your messages. Are you getting messages right now? Ah. Are they are they not coming? Hold on, I see you on the side here. Okay, writing uh, writing poems in the dark. Z's piece. Yeah, that one. Okay, yeah. Z's yep, piece. Got it. Okay. Cool. You read. Why don't you go ahead and read Z and All then? Right. Oh well, you just uh, okay. I'll read Scott's and Scars. You just read. Okay, I have one. This is Scotch and Scars, and again, I get to read here tonight too, but this one is called um, Repetitive Theme. Well, it is a constant feeling. Pale skin and fragile bones sprawled across the wet bathroom floor. Head in the bucket, pruny fingers gripping onto the edge of it, body shivering against the cold tiles, and I scream. I scream till every drop cracks like glass and my lungs are filled with the remnants and I gasp. I gasp for breath. My instincts run against my wishes. My muscles pull my head out of the water and hair sticking to my forehead. I am still gasping for breath, begging for air, suffocating, choking, because it's not the water, it never was. Neither was it the cigarette smoke on the roof two days back, nor the alcohol that ran down my throat. It's none of what they want it to be. It's none of what I want it to be. It's the anger with its claws dug into my windpipe as I cough of blood. But dare I speak against them? It's the frustration wrapped around my gut like electric wires. All it takes is one short circuit to set my insides aflame. I'm all soot and smoke. I'm all ashy blood and blackened bones. I've been keeping a check every night. It's only gotten darker on the inside. All my words have melted down to self-hatred. I have some of them to polish my blades with. But when I wake up in the morning and walk out of my casket, it's fucking theater. It's a smile on a carcass. That is Scotch and Scars, and I love reading her. She fascinates me. I say it every time. She's 17 years old, and she blows my fucking mind. What? Yeah. 17? Yeah. That's freaking unbelievable. I am so following her. I hope I'm following her. I will be. If I wasn't before, I will be. Mm-hmm. It's a nut. Yeah. I am shocked. Of her age. But I have to say, I have just found out that like some people I was talking to, because I had no idea their age, mm -hmm. their pictures up. I found out they were a lot younger than they say. Well, yeah. then, I, then I had them perceived in my mind. Yes. And I was like, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, when she, I, was afraid, uh, I was like, pieces, I mean, like what she just wrote about, I mean, that's just like, that's a feeling that I feel all the time, you know, just especially with dealing with depression and anxiety and certain things. Oh, you God. just you just put on that mask before you walk out the door because that's what you have to do. It's what you have to do because you don't want to bring those around you down because you don't want to. You Absolutely. Know, you know? I feel like anxiety in itself, not even depression. I feel like depression and anxiety go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. But anxiety in itself, it's like a fucking monster mm -hmm. because I've dealt with it. I have had anxiety since I was four years old. Yeah. And I had no idea what I was going through when I was having it at four years. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a chemical thing, mm -hmm. which when I was older, going through therapy, a lot of us do that. We find out when we're older, you know, what the deal was. And of course, going through trauma, that's yeah. a story. We'll go there another time. But, um, 
yeah, since anxiety needs to be its own topic of, of reading one, um, one of our lives, anxiety needs to be the topic because especially right now with us being quarantined with this monster out there that we can't see that's scaring the shit out of everyone, mm -hmm. you know, it needs to be talked about because, you know, we're, we're all having problems sleeping, we're having problems eating. What right. Like a lot of us are eating enough. Yeah. Getting the sleep that we need. We're not getting fresh air and exercise. We're not getting sunshine. There's just mm -hmm. so many things that we're missing out on. And especially, we are blessed to have our social community here with the writing community. And of course, mm -hmm. there's social, um, you know, socializing on social media. But we're missing the human contact, and that's a big deal. Yeah, um, I'm just blessed. I was just saying, you know, that Joe has done it, like on on his other page, Rage Room. You really, know, they attack a lot of a lot of those topics. You know, like the anxiety and and just how the whole freaking pandemic has affected everybody. I have literally missed almost everyone's lives lately because it seems that <laughs> I literally have. I had the the reason I'm using my daughter's studio is because the door locks. I have two rooms in my whole well, three. My daughter's room locks, and I'm not going in there, obviously. <laughs> he's married now. Um, <laughs> but I have my bathroom, and my room does not have a lock. My son's room does not lock, and my studio door locks. Mm -hmm. Of course, back doors. Yeah. But um, I locked myself in here because my toddler is very, like, he's going nuts. He's, he's, a, he's a boy. Yeah. Being locked up this long. Yeah. God for my jungle gym and my rock wall and slide and all that shit that he's got. The yeah. Nuts. Anyway, all right. So I am going to read. You're going to read Z. I am. I'm going to read Z. She's one of our cool chicks that belongs to Jam Them Down. And yeah. this is post therapy notes. I dig stuff like this. You asked me where in your body is the anxiety coming from? Can you listen to the shaking of your knee and ask what it needs? Nothing is normal right now. Our usual coping mechanisms may not work. I said I am afraid that if I let myself feel something that I will feel everything and I won't be able to stop feeling. And I'll unravel and fall out of myself again. It has been almost three weeks since I last felt out of control. And in that time, fear has been growing in the darkness, but I am so far from it right now that I worry it's going to sneak up on me and grab me when I'm not looking. Please help me. We've talked about how I can't feel anything right now. You said numbing is part of my survival mode. If that's true, I'm killing it. We currently, we're currently living in a traumatic state and uncertainty is the norm. It's going to hurt a lot. It's going to sting. The system will become overwhelmed. One way or another, it's okay. You're safe here. Open the lid. Remove your fear. Let's talk about it. Mm. So good. And I know that she wants to do like a lot of, um, you there's know, more. mental health. Oh, there's more? Like there's a whole other page. Sorry. Said you'd you said you are right you're used to reading a person and predicting the outcome of how they might react minutes before they do and gouging what might be an appropriate response so as not to disturb the equilibrium balancing precariously upon haphazardly strewn emotions trauma response now you're reading a whole society and trying to predict the outcome of how they might react keeping in mind the spectrum of fear and gouging what might be an appropriate response so as not to disturb the equilibrium balancing precariously upon people think that they have all this time now to get shit done something about oh it's a little arrows covering up a word i can't read that something a novel oh write write a novel Find the cure for cancer, but the act of being busy is not an art one needs to perfect. In the moments of which you're fighting waves and anxiety with a list of tasks growing 
exponentially longer for the minute, by the minute, to keep your mind distracted from the current state of events, a traumatic state of events. You'll forget to leave time for the overthinking and hours you'll lose starting off, staring off into space. Can you slow down? Can you help me sit with my fear? Because I don't know what to do with it and I sure as hell can't feel it. Please tell me, what are we going to do? It's so good. It looks like she did this, like it says day two, day two of her of her quarantine, because she started writing, you know, um, in response to the isolation. Yeah. Um, you know, so, you know, it's it's pretty cool. You know, she, she just mentions, you know, just that, you know, Fridays are for therapy and keeping my sessions via telehealth. It has been very important to me. And shout out to the mental health workers who are taking all of this unprecedented stress and anxiety and helping us through this safely. I have done this telehealth um, with my therapist since this yeah. been, and it was so cool. I yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. I mean, and it's so important. I mean, it's so important. I mean, there have been so many of us, especially in the mental health industry, that, you know, Absolutely. Us, I mean, that have been affected. I mean, it's really, really hard. I mean, it's very, very difficult to have to, I mean. <coughs> this is straight vodka, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I know you better than that. Thanks, Robin, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's usually me. Everyone always asks, is that straight vodka, Robin? I'm like, no. Have some <laughs> but if it is, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is just my water. That's good. It's all good. Mm. I'm drinking tea, lemon water, you name it. I drink it. It's nice. Good, good. I love it. Um, but I wanted to apologize to Z really quick because when I read her piece, um, I've been doing a lot of reading. And I just took my glasses off because these are not helping me. I need to get, um, I had prescription ones that block the blue light of your Oh, computer. yeah. Uh -huh. And I've noticed it's really affecting my vision, like hardcore. Oh, and no. uh, I can't see that great when it's not in really large script, which I'm able to do on my computer, thank God. Yeah. Um, but the piece that she wrote, <laughs> I go all the way back to like to back there. Yeah, to see it. Like so, this. It's like this. Like, uh, I think I can see it now. And I can't see, I'm so sorry, Z. I apologize. I need to get better glasses going. And I got to go 24 hours without a computer or phone or something in my face because my eyes didn't break. My hey, eyes. Just Joe and Katie, I was going to say it looks like Wally. But yeah, short circuit. That's pretty spot on too. So good call, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about your setup behind. Uh, I know short circuit. I watch short. Come on, that was good. That was a good little flick. Oh my my stuff behind me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we yes. It looks like a face. <laughs> it's like. This is nothing. This studio is okay. Well, my husband, when my husband was still doing pretty well, this was like seven years ago. My yeah. husband, and my daughter, um, did this studio together, and through the last seven years, it has morphed into this gorgeous, beautiful state of the art studio. Awesome. And I, have, I, I cannot tell you. I know when you're proud of your children, you can't help but like gush about it. Yeah. Tell you, she's 22, and she writes mixes well she started off singing and she was raised in the studio and she was signed as a tween but anyway long story short she did the studio because she was raised in the studio and she can mix master write do all of it herself she literally is like That's a wasp awesome. band it can sit here and do all of the shit and my son-in-law her husband is the same way yeah. and he's also a performer so together they're like this creative like mm -hmm. crazy mix of amazingness and I can't yeah very cool that's what goes on and I stole it they literally just walked in the room because they didn't know I was in here yeah most of the day because they're up all night doing shit mm -hmm. so um I was like it's fine come on in yeah they're like, <laughs> <laughs> like what? walk into it's so weird I know they're like we're not used to you being in yeah. here 
Okay, so All right, I'm gonna read this one from KCL underscore words, and this is Kim, and she sent this to me. And then, so I think after this one, if you want to read one, and then we'll close it out because yep. then my live starts at six, and I'm gonna have to go run and pee before I start, guys. So <laughs> before I join yours, I'm going to have to go run and pee. So, yeah. All right. So this is KCL underscore words. This is Kim. All right. I stand alone with the crowd, dripping in fear and need like pearls around our neck, or coated in glitter to hide the rot. We do love to pretend the shiny, shiny things makes us more, but the weight of it makes me want to tear my skin down to clean bones, to scrape away the gluttony leaving me small, leaving me old but new, barefoot as I walk out of the now deserted city. Strip me bare. I can live without it all. And that was from that prompt with Brian Edwards and Rachel with uh, from Whispers to War to Roars. And they were doing one of what you what you can live without. So and that's uh, ah. An incredible like I love that scrape away the gluttony leaving me small yeah aren't we all gluttonous to a point though with I believe so I believe we are <laughs> if there's something for all of us that we are a bit of a glutton about I'm sorry mm -hmm. yeah okay? I don't care who you are but I just feel that there's something and it could be anything but we're all a bit of a glutton yep running out of time so I actually got a piece from Joe Awesome! I know, I'm really excited. <laughs> um, let's see if I can see okay to read it properly. Okay. He's a walking cliche, encapsulated as smoke, his cigarette magic wand, the sensitive bad boy, like a cheap teen flick, his trick convincing you of the myth, the art of the con, he speaks with emotion making you believe every word is an ocean complimenting you on your work followed with self praise and stories of how his words were spread all around the world amazed you eat it up the con it's the great illusion speak with heart crest the illusion the, ma the magician always the performing while his audience swoons adoring Every word he speaks, the clouds his curtain. It's his confidence you admire because it's what you're subconsciously desire. He speaks without fear, but you don't see. It's because he doesn't care. You're the audience and that's all he needs. On your soul, he consumes and feeds. But if you just listen close, close your eyes and think without sight, the mask is gone and you're in fright. You can't believe you feel for the trick. I'm sorry, you can't believe you fell for the trick. The ringmaster has the magician's stick. Don't say you weren't warned. I painted his picture. Don't become his fixture. His Kool-Aid isn't Kool-Aid at all. It's the devil's elixir. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's Kool Aid. Isn't Boom! It? That was awesome. I love that. Don't drink, Don't drink the Kool Aid. <laughs> Kool Aid isn't Kool Aid at all. It's the devil's elixir. <laughs> that was bomb. That was awesome. Woo! Loved it. That is so good. Joe always delivers. Everybody, everybody's awesome. Yeah. Really good. Hey, everyone who just popped in. We are just getting ready to shut down here because our two hours are up. But just to let everybody know for future, and so um, Andy has having jam them down, move to, I think it's seven Eastern time. So I think that's four o'clock for me, but seven o'clock Eastern time. Um, you know, just to be able to give jam them down a little bit of a uh, little bit of space because they didn't want to go over onto my lives so on over on uh, Leroy Beautiful Chaos Poetry. And so, um, but yeah, so next Monday, we'll be here at Jam Them Down at um, seven o'clock Eastern time. And is it gonna be you and Z? Who's it gonna be next Monday? Uh, I will have to look at the schedule. Okay. 
I do have a friend who thought she might want to join in the fun, but I don't know yet. She hasn't gotten nice. Because I'm thinking, um, we're going to, like, totally, like, overrule Andy soon. He's going to be the only dude. <laughs> we need a dude. He needs a dude. Her we dude. Got, <laughs> no, we're all fine. We're good. But I think Andy My might. friend I'm talking to is a dude, and he's really cool. So mm -hmm. let's see what happens with that. Because, yeah. <laughs> All right, Robin. Listen, you're going about. You're about to have a live. Have an amazing yep. live. Thank I'm you. going to listen, and I can't wait to hear your stuff. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening. Yes. Chatter to Betty is being read. If I flubbed it, I apologize. Mm -hmm. And um, we just cannot wait to do this again. This was so much fun, Robin. It was so much fun. I know. I can't believe that we haven't done this until just now. I mean, that's ridiculous. I know. Well, you know what. <laughs> got kids i've got kids yeah. i like crazy and when you, you're you're very you plan everything like <laughs> and i'm not that way i am so free <laughs> if i can get when i can get it the time that i can get you get yeah. me yeah. you get me anyway this was so much fun we'll do it so again much. soon i can't wait yeah. to see you and i will see i'll actually see you in a minute all right all right everyone if you have time Bye. Hop on over to my live. Um, that's going to be popping up. Give me a few minutes because I do have to go to the And uh, we'll see you guys soon. All right. See you guys all there. Bye. Oh, my God.